So here we are at Garrett's Landing Park. This is Roswell uh, Design Says and Parks and Recreation. And today we're going to be doing a little walking in the park. And there's a rip. The river is down here um, to the left. And also a nice little path that goes past some fountains and the reclaimed waterway. So we'll be walking along and seeing all those sites. Stay tuned. Here we are at Garrett's Landing Park in Roswell. Thank you for joining me today. And this is Travel Trails and Adventures and I'm Betsy. And I'll be doing, going to different parks and other places in and around Atlanta and also Georgia and just sharing them with the viewing audience. So maybe this will encourage some people to get out and check out some of these places. Uh, they're little jewels all tucked away in different parts of Atlanta area and surrounding areas. Uh, I didn't know about this park until um, probably about a year ago and have been coming here regularly ever since. I've even biked in here. Uh, there is some gravel on part of the trails. You'll see that in a moment. But for now, let's get started. So we're here at a very nice time of the day. It's toward the evening. The temperature is pretty nice out here. Uh, I think it's 51 degrees, so not real warm, but uh, not very cold with the sun shining. But once that goes down, it's gonna get pretty chilly out here pretty quickly. So we're gonna start off on this pathway and um, this is a nice little walkway and you have some nice fountains from what I understand this is all reclaimed water and that is the water treatment or part of the water plant above me to the right and just gonna walk along this path and let you see what it looks like and enjoy it for yourself. And there's lots of information about the meadows and the trees and all of the um, different areas of this park. And we're coming up on one of my favorite places, the replica of a covered bridge. And it's just beautiful the way the water comes down through here. We've got the fields over this way. It's just very natural. And here's the other side the bridge the water going down through here and now we're going to walk through covered bridge and the path to the right just goes back on around the little lake here and back around toward the parking lot and this way goes a little further up and so we're going to be going this way and you can really hear the water right here love to hear the gurgle of the water more little natural waterfalls. And 
And we have a little stone bridge across the creek. And we're gonna keep going out this way to the end. And as you walk on up here to your, the left, um, it circles back around and comes back down. So we will be doing that on the other side of this little holding pond. As I was saying, I'm gonna come along the back side here in the more natural and paved. And from here we can make a right to head down toward the river. And here we are, where it's a roll of different paths uh, connect or intersect. And again, we're going to make a right, and you should be seeing the river pretty soon, just around this curve. So now we are walking toward the little ramp here like a little overlook of the Chattahoochee River. Nice little chair to sit in. Rocks. Here's to the side of it. And here we go. So we're gonna come up here and take a look at the river. The wind's blowing quite briskly. So, and the, and the water's headed downstream. Now we're gonna look upstream. And across the way, there, there is another trail that comes out of another little park right off. I can't think of the name of it. Maybe I'll make a uh, video of it because I have not seen that anywhere. So maybe I'll try to take care of that too. And uh, there you have it, folks. Beautiful view of the river. Sometimes you see fish jumping, but not today. It's pretty cold. So the sun's starting to set, so we're going to go on this way. And instead of following this trail back to the right, it goes around. Actually, we'll get to the same place eventually. But uh, I'm going to go up here because there's a nice large field and looks like a great place for kids to play, dogs to run. And uh, so we're gonna go up here and visit that. So now we're sitting on the bench here and this is one of the best places that I've found in the park to be able to um, watch the sunset. It's just, um, really good place you got the whole field here and you've got the sun sinking in the west and also up above us here we got a sky show going on with the uh, different flames there were several well we still got several there's uh, let's see if I can bring it into focus yep one going there and Another one over here. So we're just gonna sit here for a minute and watch as the sun goes down before we continue on our journey and back to the car. Look, Garrett's landing. Like I said, it's it's a 
cool little place. It's kind of tucked out of the way. Unless you look it up on the map or happen to drive by the sign is how I actually found it to start with. I happened to see the sign on the road and just turned in and checked it out. Told my neighbor about it. She lived in this area, I think she said 20 some odd years or longer. Never knew it was here. So it's, uh, I guess unless you're out really checking and paying attention and looking, someplace you might pass by even know that such a nice little area exists. Anyway, I'm going to stay focused on the sunset here, although I am a little distracted by all the things going on in the sky. Also, the area is a great place to see um, stars and see the night sky too. And straight ahead of me is the playground for kids. Looks like we also have some picnickers over here. And so here's the playground and this park is family friendly. It has a playground area for young and older children. So pavilion area and restrooms over here and right over here we have children's swings so I'm gonna walk this way just a little further and see the river from this angle too picnic tables over here. Not sure how well you can see it. And then the river. And here we have another part of the trail that winds on around and again goes up to the top of the hill and then you can access the parking lot going back around this way also makes for a, a good little hike if you go all the way around the perimeter and then there's the uh, other trails off the main trails too so here we are almost back to where we started from and the parking lots over to my left this way and just wanted to come up here for one last view of the fountains as you can tell the wind has really kicked up and uh, it's getting pretty chilly out here so i had to put on my uh, vest and again i want to thank you for being with me today thank you for joining me videos that I will be adding.